Welcome back to the channel. This is the first time you've been here before. My name is Jordan Miller and I review boxing gear. Uh, today I have an unboxing of a pair of gloves uh, from a brand I have not used before. So this is going to be a first time experience for me. These are the Agility Training Gloves from Hit and Move. So let's get into it. All right, so I first saw these gloves um, from Box Up Nation um, and I was really intrigued by both the design um, and the fact that I kind of what this company I think is doing to try and set themselves apart from other companies is they they say they've developed a proprietary to them uh, padding system. So I like that companies trying to do something new, not trying to make a you know a, a winning glove clone or a Cleto Reyes clone or you know something like that trying to do their own thing. So I'm excited to see how these feel and you know, if they feel different or if they're, you know, like another pair of boxing gloves. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's unbox them and get into it. Gotta hide the knife for YouTube so they don't take down my videos. So they come in a bag. Um, what is this? <clears throat> oh, this is like a uh, this is like a fact sheet about how to care for your gloves. Um, so that's nice. I haven't had that before. So that's sweet. Um, out of the way. So this is like a kind of like a canvas nylon bag um, for your boxing gloves. Nice. Um, these are 16 ounce. And all right. Okay, let's get these set up. over here. Okay. Um, okay, I'm getting ahead of my, I'm already doing like kind of the walk around. So we'll set these up. I'm excited. Um, okay. So hit and move agility boxing gloves. This company, they have, they have fight gloves, but for their training gloves, there's two main versions they have. These are the agility and then their other one are the balance. Um, the padding, this proprietary blend that they use. Um, and if you go on their website, they actually have a nice model. It's four layers and they kind of show you the type of foam and the purpose of each of those four layers. I like it when companies do that and are kind of upfront and don't just make up some word like, oh, name of this padding. And you know, you can see that it's just like any other boxing glove. So, um, I appreciate that they did that. Um, so the, they use the same padding, but the, the main, the kind of the big difference between the two is the agility is supposed to be more compact, um, and a bit more of a, of a firm shock absorbing feel to the glove. And the balance is supposed to be not quite so compact and a little bit softer, um, in its, uh, in its feel, um, these retail for $180 and the balance are $200. So I like compact gloves. I like that firm kind of shock absorbing feel. So, so I went with these. Um, so yeah, we'll do a walk around. We'll check out the leather, the stitching, the liner, get my first impressions on that. Um, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll try them on and, and see, you know, first impressions if this padding is, you know, anything different or, you know, similar to maybe similar to any, uh, another pair of boxing gloves I may have tried in the past. Um, all right, so we'll jump into the walk around. Taking a look at the gloves first, let's look at the leather. Um, this leather is, I think, really, I think it's really nice. Um, it's quite soft on the palm side, as you can kind of see, see there. Um, on the back, it's it's uh, it's tighter, um, more more taut. Um, and that's likely because, you know, this is a, a more compact glove design and there's probably, you know, that same amount of padding kind of stuffed in there. 
um, but the, the grain is really nice and it's consistent throughout the whole glove. Um, and I don't see, I don't see any big blemishes or cuts or anything like that. So I think the leather quality is really good. Looking at the stitching, uh, the stitching looks really good as well. Across the back of the thumb, nice tight line here where the thumb attaches on the back, on the inside. This is super clean up on the fingertip area. This is very, very nice um, along here. You can't, seams are really tight. No, none are busted. Um, and the palm looks very clean as well. So stitching along the strap, good. Velcro, this is, this feels pretty thick on the, on the softer side, grippy side looks good too. So materials are looking really nice. Um, the liner, it, they say they have this moisture wicking fabric um, and it's very soft. The closest comparison I have to this liner uh, based on just feeling it like this is the liner of the RFX Guerrero sparring glove. Um, and other than that, I, I can't think of another glove that that's similar to, but that's one of my favorite liners. So, um, and this, yeah, so that might be, um, so that's really nice. Um, last thing, let's just throw it on the scale. Um, because this, this is a compact glove. I want to see, you know, what we're, what we're dealing with here, uh, weight wise. Yeah, 16 point basically on the nose. That's the right glove, left glove. Yeah, perfect for both of them. So that's excellent. I mean, that's really impressive for how compact this glove is. Um, and I think just a good sign of the overall quality of the glove. So yeah, I'm really impressed uh, with that, with that uh, walk around of the glove. So now we'll, we'll try them on and, and see how they feel. So that's the walk around of the gloves. Um, I really like the leather. It's got a thick uh, feel to it that makes it feel really durable. Like I, I, I expect these, this leather to last a long time. Um, the stitching is good. Um, the I love the liner. So the closest liner I can compare it to, like I said in the walk around, is the Rival RFX Guerrero sparring glove. So that <clears throat> moisture wicking fabric that they use. Um, this is, a, I think, a little softer, a little smoother than that. Um, but those RFX Guerreros are like the only gloves I own that have that sort of fabric. Um, and uh, so the, and these are the most similar to it. Um, and then weight, both of the gloves came in at exactly 16 ounces, which I was surprised because the profile of the glove is pretty compact. So that's impressive. Um, it's also, a, a, I think, just a sign of the overall quality of the gloves. So really impressed with the walk around. Um, now, what I'm most interested in most is the fit and feel. <clears throat> so, take it on. So again, these are advertised as being a more compact training glove with a shock absorbing kind of firm padding. Um, checking out the profile here. I can open my hand. They're not stiff, but they're not super broken in. They're brand new. Um, okay, but that's, I can open my hand a little bit. Um, the profile is compact and it feels compact in here. It's not uncomfortable, it's not tight, but it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a more compact training glove. Um, edge of my pinky is right here. Definitely think there's plenty of room with the uh, hand wraps on. We will see if there's room for also like knuckle guards or my boxing hand grenades. Both of those, one of those, we'll see. Um, so overall profile, as advertised, compact. Compartment by compartment. Um, fingertip. This is really uh, interesting. I don't know what it is that they have over the fingertip seam. It's soft enough, but it's also pretty firm. It's this clear like platform that my fingertips are gripping down onto um, to make a fist. I, I don't have another pair of gloves that have that feeling. Um, but I like it. It's really, it's really, it's nice. I don't know what it is. I'll have to ask him. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, ergonomics of the glove is, I think, really good. The, the 
grip bar is right where I want it. Um, it's compact but not tight and I, I can form a really nice natural fist where my, my knuckles line up over this punching surface like it should. It's a bit of a, bit of a rounded punching surface here, um, and, uh, but my knuckles are lined up right where they should be. Thumb placement is really comfortable where this seam is here. It's holding my thumb in place but not cutting in on the webbing. It's not too tight on there. A uh, bit of a rounded uh, design to the thumb um, with good padding across. Um, <laughs> my door went, <laughs> that just scared me. <laughs> um, my thumb tip ends right about here. So if I have medium sized hands, if you have bigger hands than me, you know, there's probably, there, there should be room for your thumb there. Um, the other big thing, you know, that they're kind of marketing this glove to be is this, this padding. And I can say that the padding does feel very unique. I don't have another pair of gloves where I'm like, oh, these are just like this glove. Um, and it is as advertised where it, there's some, it's pretty soft for the first, I don't know, quarter inch. And then it gets pretty firm and protective after that. So I'm very excited to test these on my Nazo heavy bag, which is uh, I think 135 pounds, but very dense. Um, and I'm curious to see how my knuckles feel, uh, you know, really kind of laying into that bag with these gloves because this feels promising. Like it could be really protective on the hands, but you know, I got to try them out to see before I tell you that. Um, oh, I didn't say the wrist area. Wrist area is nice. Um, flat padding along the palm side and probably about a three inch Velcro strap wrapping around. Um, the padding on the back of the wrist, yeah, is very thick and very sturdy. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that's really like th from here to here along the back, very stiff. It's, it's able to mold around. I can do this, but if I needed to like fold it in the middle, this it's super stiff. So that's nice. That's really good. That's good wrist protection. Um, so yeah, those are my first impressions of the fit and feel. I think as advertised, a compact training glove um, with this protective padding, really liking this fingertip area. Um, it's really comfortable That's, and it's different. I haven't, uh, I don't have another pair of gloves that is using whatever they're using in here. <clears throat> all right, so wrapping it all up, um, wrapping up the video. Walk around the gloves. I, I really like the leather and I really like the liner. The liner of all the materials, the liner is probably my favorite piece. This like uh, moisture wicking fabric similar to the RFX Guerrero. Fit and feel as advertised, very compact but comfortable. Nice, I can form a nice fist. It's very ergonomic and, I'm, and the padding does feel unique. I don't have another pair of gloves that I can compare this padding to. Um, so I'm very excited to try them out on my heavy bag and see how they do. Um, but yeah, uh, I think overall I, I'm very impressed with these gloves um, and I'm really excited to try them out. So hope you guys like this unboxing and first impressions. Um, I'll get some, uh, some training in with these gloves and then pull together a full review and share my final thoughts um, about the gloves. If I think they're worth it or who do I think these gloves are for, who might like them, who might not like them. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button two times. So make sure, uh, I really know you didn't like it. Comment down below if you have any questions about these gloves um, or other videos maybe you'd like to see. Uh, hit the subscribe button to the channel um, and the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. And be sure to follow me on my other social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, name is Jordan Miller on YouTube. Um, so yeah, appreciate you guys checking out this video. I'll see you next time.